Hi guys, Micro here. They updated the loot table of Ice Telos. I mean, Arc Glacor. And it's really, really good now. I've now done over 600 hard mode kills and I made the best melee weapon in the game. Managed to make my own tier 95 main hand. I am going to be making the offhand soon as well. I'm fairly close, but I wanted to get this video out talking about the loot and stuff. And I'll then probably get a video out talking about the weapons and testing them out once I get the offhand. Hopefully sometime either tonight or tomorrow. Then obviously it's just time to test and I'll have a video of that out as well. What I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be showcasing my journey as such from these 600 kills. It's been a pretty exciting one and this boss is amazing. So let's take a look at the loot. So the first ever item I got pre-loot buff was a Dark Nihilus. These are used to craft the tier 85s and the tier 95s. You need 5 for a tier 85 and 10 for a tier 95. And these can be very, very rare to get even after the loot buff. But now that the loot's been buffed, you get more than one. I think the minimum in hard mode is two now and you get a lot more at the higher in rages. I've seen people get insane amounts, like 10 to 15 at high streaks, high in rages, which is absurdly awesome, because obviously that's multiple tier 85s or a tier 95 worth, and that is really good. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Dude, that's insane! So now I need to get the other things, right? That's how you upgrade the weapon, the Frozen Core of Ling. Is that a broadcast? It's not a broadcast? You don't get a broadcast for it? What? I, I, If I buy the tier 85, I still can't make it. That's the thing. Because you need these. Yeah, so I need the tier 85, Remnants, and Dark Nihilus, which are untradeable. So I need 10 of them. And then I can make it. Dude, that's insane, though. I, I'm happy. There we go. Good. Ugh. You're stuck in the instance? Yes, uh, someone else said they had the same issue. Try just, like, closing the game and seeing if that fixes it. Just, like, go lose the game or whatever. Oh, wait! Where'd that go? I left it on the floor! Did I leave it on the floor? We'll get it another time. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. It's not in the chest now. It will, it'll be on the floor. Oh, it's in the bank! I didn't think I saw it on the floor. I didn't think I missed a loot beam, dude. I thought I would have seen a loot beam. I thought I was that dumb. That's crazy. All right, cool. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. I need that 1k skin now. Oh, wow. Oh, it's nice even in the little mini one. I like that hard mode one, though. The black. Oh, so nice. All right. I'm down. That motivates me to get 1k kills, dude. More than one of them. We got two. So now we're three out of 10. I got my first Nihilus on, like, first ever kill streak, pretty much, I think. That's why I finally got another one. Nice. So now we got the laying artifact on the log as well. Cool. A 483% with one kill streak. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so that's two of them i need the other stuff dude how rare's the core how do i have two of them i know the other stuff are normal mode and stuff but like is it actually worth farming normal mode like how many nihiluses do you get in normal mode you know like i highly doubt you get enough nihiluses to make it worth it like i, I think you have to do hard mode for the nihilus I did a 42 kill streak to go from 0 to 500% pre buff, and I made 36 mil on paper, which is inflated anyway. So this isn't even 36 mil. This is probably around 30 mil because the Serenic Scouts are still pretty good. The Crystal Keys are good. The Alkables, like the Battle Starves, are always nice. And then like Hydrix Bolt Dips and stuff are decent. But the things like Dragon Stones have crashed. Water Talismans have crashed really heavily. And I think the things that got impacted the most were the Summoning Focuses and the Spirit Weed Seeds. So they do inflate the value whenever you get those as a drop. So I made about 30 mil in 42 kills. Then post buff to the loot, this was 41 kills, up to 412 in rage. 108 mil on paper. They added pages, which is really, really nice, having those on the hard mode drop table as well as normal mode. They added salvage, 75,000 GP per out with those medium or calcium salvages. Not only did they add these things, the loot just comes in bigger quantities. It's so much nicer. 
And in reality, that's probably around 80 to 85 mil. So we nearly three times our loot with this buff. So I decided because I don't have any Dark Nihilus, I was going to streak until I died and try and get a PB in Rage. And this is what I ended up doing. Some amazing loot to come. Over 2k remnants. That takes me to enough remnants for the tier 95 upgrade. It's 7,500 and I have that in pretty much one streak. That's sick. You also need this for like anything that you want to craft. So, you know, getting this is always useful. <laughs> Every kill is insane. I literally just got like 15 million onyx dust. That's nearly five onyxes right there. 500 crystal keys, man. That's literally like 7 mil or something because they're like 16k a key and my god that's nuts. So many keys. Because 7,000 remnants wasn't enough, let's take that to 10k, alright, I'll, I'll take it. Oh my goodness. 13 Serenic Scouts, these bad boys are like 600k each right now. That's literally 7.5 mil right there. That's huge. I, I'm not going to complain whatsoever, although it is getting a bit spooky. So man's taking a lot of damage. May die soon, but we're going to keep going until we die. We only lose 25% because the maximum amount of items you keep is 75% at 15 streaks. So we're keeping 75% of our items regardless. So I'm happy. Oh my, I didn't think we were going to get better loot than those uh, 13 Stronic Scouts, but apparently we did. That's over 250 salvagey boys. Again, they out get 75k each, right? That's literally nearly 20 million salvage just sitting there in Alks. Oh, my Alkers are going to have a field day. 1.5k more remnants. Why not? Also, 699. Nice. Back to back remnants. And that gave me literally like 4k. Dude, I have enough remnants in this streak alone for two of the tier 95 upgrades. That's mad. Also, 61 kills and 710% in rage. That's a PB for me. I am happy with that. Ah, water talismans. Although that was a hefty amount. That was like nearly a thousand. So that's a lot of water talismans, but they are crashing really bad. I got so close to that kill and I died to one of the big ice pillars. Streak's over, but we keep 75%. Hey, that's not too shabby, dude. I kept 162 mil on paper. Again, some of that is inflated, but we didn't get that many items that are super inflated. So overall, we probably made a good about 125 to 130 mil, which I'm very happy with. Shame we didn't get any Dark Nihilus, but you can see the loot has been increased so well, and I am so happy with the update. It was my only gripe. The boss is amazing. And now the loot is amazing too. Insane. <gasps> oh, I got some Dark Nihilus. Dude, it has been like 400 kills since my last Dark Nihilus. I got Dark Nihilus at like 120 KC and I got two of them. And now I'm at 500 KC and I finally got more. I got three at 56%. Why couldn't I have got that on my previous streak at like 700% and it gave me like 10 or something? Oh, I mean, I can't argue. Three is great. I'm keeping that. I'm taking it. Let's go. I need four more Nihilus and I can make a tier 95. Yes, yes, I can make a tier 95. I got six Nihilus. That's really good. 236% in rage, 20 kill streak. Nice amount of Nihilus. Really good chest overall, to be honest. It has Hydrix Bolt Tips, Orichalcium Salvage. It has the good stuff. You love to see it. Let's claim that and make the best melee weapon in the game. So I have to buy the tier 85 because I don't want to waste five of my Dark Nihilus on making the tier 85 because, you know, it's taken me long enough to get them. The main hand bought for 114 mil, which is completely fine. And now it's time to make the tier 95 main hand. The reason why I'm making the main hand is because the spec is tied to the main hand. So I think that one would be better for me to make first at least. And then I'll make the offhand when I get the rest of my Dark Nihilus to go with my second core that I spoon. And as you can see, I have all of the stuff now. I have so much of the remnants. It's just those Nihiluses that are taking me a while personally. But all it will take is like a high enrage, high streak, get one roll on them of like 10, and I could make the offhand as well, you know? There it is. There is the tier 95 shard of Leng. I'm going to get the offhand, and I want to test these bad boys out. I love melee. It should be really fun.
If anyone was interested in my max and rage, my streaks and log and KC and stuff, it's on the screen right now. I definitely got spooned those cores and I feel like I'm a little bit dry on the Dark Nihilus, but I'm not sure. And I'm super happy with that so far. 532 hard mode kills, highest in rage 721%. Highest streak, 63. I'm a very happy boy, man. I just really enjoy this boss, and I can see myself farming it a lot. I'm going to have an actual loot video out of like a thousand hard mode kills when I get the pet, so I can talk about it then. And hopefully by then, I'll have the offhand as well from those Dark Nihiluses, and we'll have like another proper loot video coming out, and I'll break it down and everything. This was more of a reaction and, you know, all of that type of video. The, the dopamine video, as you will. But it's back to killing the boss for me, back to going for more Dark Nihilus to get that offhand, and then hopefully have a video for you guys testing it out very, very soon. And that will be it for this video. Do give it a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new for loads of future content all related to RS3. And as always, until next time, see ya. Look how sick that goddamn weapon is. I'm so excited to test them out. So excited to get that offhand. Let's go.